how to use Soho People for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Soho People as a beginner. Soho is a tool that we are all familiar with at this point. It is one of the largest tools out there. They have everything from sales, CRM, and so much more. And now they have an HR tool called Soho People. So Soho People is for human resource management. It's one of the most dedicated and nurturing tool that is going to help you in adapting to changes and making management agile and effective. You can simplify your HR operations, retain talent, and build a high performing workflow. So let's get started. To get started, simply head on over to Zoho.com and then click on sign up for free to get started with Zoho People. I am going to sign in using my Google account. You can proceed with Microsoft or your email address as well. I'm just going to go with Google because it's really quick to complete the sign up process. Now, once I've done that, I'm just going to skip this and I'm going to just do 2FA later. And we're just going to proceed on to the next step. For some reason, there is an error while setting up our Soho account. So we're going to go back in click on access zoho people okay this is not associated with zoho so i'm going to sign out and we're gonna sign in again to zoho people there might be just a little bit of a hiccup so i'm just gonna sign out and we're going to click on sign up for free for zoho people and then i'm going to put in my name my email address and then we're going to add a suitable password. So we're going to sign in for this to access Zoho because we do have one Zoho account. So we're just going to sign in. And once we do that, passwords don't, can't protect your account, use multi factor authentication, throw other MFA modes. Let's say we can use a security key. So we're going to click on next. We're going to now. I'm I know I'm not gonna use a security key, so we're, I'm just gonna skip this and proceed on to our Zoho People account, which for some reason is not working. This is really odd because Zoho is so easy to use. I don't know what's wrong right now. I'm just gonna sign in, go to my account. And once you go into your account, you're going to have all of your information. We're going to go and yeah, we have our email addresses, mobile numbers, and I am going to go back from my account, access my apps, and we are going to scroll and look for HR tools. In HR tools, we have Soho People and Jane Doe at Darden. Or yeah, I'm going to have to remove my secondary email because that's an unverified email. So I'm going to have to keep one email at a time. Okay, this is currently being hosted in Soho. So I'll have to use another account. This is this has gone on a bit too long today. I have no idea why this is happening. But let's just move on with it because we're trying to access our personal Zoho account. For some reason, that has become really difficult. I'm going to continue on to Zoho over here. Click on continue. We're going to access our account, sign into this account, set password now. We're going to reset our password. We're going to do the CAPTCHA. We're going to verify our CAPTCHA. And then we're going to enter the one-time password that was sent to our account in our mailbox so this is zoho team we're going to copy this we're going to paste that in we're going to click on verify and then finally we can log on to our account on zoho so finally let's go into zoho last and we're gonna remind ourselves later and now that we have created our account on zoho we have our apps and let's just open up the CRM on our way to the Zoho CRM. The CRM has worked completely fine. So we're going to get started here. We're going to go directly into HR, which is our people application, people.zoho. So finally, this has decided to work. 
and we're going to start our free account and it's creating our people account over here for Zoho people. Now we can onboard the actual application at last. This is this was quite a long destination. So now we're going to enter our company name to start setting up our HR. The portal name usually is going to be synonymous with your uh, with the company name. And you're going to choose your industry. So let's say that we are in Infotech and we're going to add our phone number. And once we do that, we're just going to click on save over here. Okay, so this portal name already exists. I'm going to go with Spencer1 and that is available. So we can proceed with that. Now, once we've done that, we can see we have the option to generate some sample data. You can skip this, but because I want to show you guys what a actual uh, database is going to look like, I'm going to use some of the sample data so you guys can actually have an assessment of what it's going to look like when you are going to have your CRM set up. So over here, we're just going to close this up and this is what your Zoho People account is going to look like. On the left, you have your menu bar where you have your home section. In your home section, you're going to have any of your reportees and yourself. When you have yourself, when you create the account, usually by default, you will be set as the CEO or founder. So you will have check-in options. You have feeds, profiles, approvals, leaves, and attendance. Then you also have timesheets, time logs, jobs, file, HR processes, career histories, cases, and goals. On the right, you have questions, reference, earn, and subscriptions, and sample data that you can clear out. You can set it. Then you have an onboarding section where you can onboard different candidates. Then you have a simple leave tracker. This allows you to track leaves for any of your employees. And then you also have attendance that you can mark and see attendance summaries. You have a time tracker. You also have other services that you can include, such as tasks, compensation, travel, HR letters, cases, employee engagement, performance, and files. Then below that, you have operations. In your operations, you have things like onboarding, leave tracking, and these are, you know, your operations that you're going to be fulfilling. So in employee information, you can search for any employee. And then you have insights, you have employee info, their designation, department, HR process, and more. Now I'm going to clear the sample data, and then I'm just going to proceed with all of the modules to be uh, started from scratch. So I'm going to show you guys from scratch how data entry is going to look like. So now that we are in full functionality mode, this is what our account looks like. We can see ourselves over here, user ID, and then you have your people options. Now from here, we're going to set up our work schedule. You guys can see this is the work schedule over here, and we can add the general timings as our time logged, and we can shift mapping. We can add our mapping for our time. Then we can go on ahead and the first thing you can do is you can check in when you're beginning your work or when the workday starts for you. This is a tool that everyone is going to have because everyone is going to have their attendance marked or be present. And you will see it when you are late by, when was your first check in, any paid holidays, all of that is going to be found here. Now we're going to go into operations and we're going to go into employee information, go into employees. The, I am the administrator, so this is all my employee info. To add a secondary employee, I'm just going to click on add employee. You can add them by Google Workspace, Microsoft 365, Soho Mail, or by an invitation to their email address. So their employee ID is going to be 02, their first name is Lily, last name Davis, and we're going to enter their email address like so, and they will receive this in the mail. Then I'm just going to click on create, and then I will edit the user data. We can add a nickname, their work information, so the department that they are working in. So any department, you can create a new one as well, simply by clicking on the plus icon. Let's say that they are working marketing i'll just click on submit select that as their department we can select the physical location so which one of our offices are they working in we can select their designation their zoho role their employment type status source of hire as well as total experience and other information and then you can trigger onboarding so i want to trigger onboarding for this record and when they are going to look at zoho they're going to be added directly as a onboarded candidate and they're going to go through the onboarding process on zoho and just like that you can use zoho people for all of your hr needs with 
in terms of hiring and recruitment from any in you know organization if you're doing hiring firing payroll and time management all of that can be done in one place on Coho. so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe